Hello and welcome to step three of our Pyraminx tutorial. In step three, this is our last and final step, we are going to finish solving the pyramid. Okay, and this is really a combination of two moves, so we could call it steps three and four. You'll remember at the end of step two, I got kind of lucky. I was trying to solve just one side of the pyraminx, and when I finished, I actually had all four sides solved, and that's unusual. What you probably have in your pyraminx is this. One color in all the right locations, okay, but not all the other sides solved, okay? What I want you to do is if you have one side now solved, okay, just take a look at it and hold it this way. Take your solved side and have it face up. And I just want you to double check and make sure that all the colors match all the way around. And what I mean is like, I have all greens here, they match. All blues, they match. And all yellows, they match. And the reason I want you to check that is because we want to make sure that our pieces are, in fact, in the correct location. Okay. So, assuming you have that, take your solved side, in my case I have the red side, and hold it so that it's in the back, facing away from you. And hold your pyraminx like this. Okay. You can see, by looking at your pyraminx, that there are only three pieces left to be solved for the entire pyramid to be finished. Okay. That would be this piece this edge piece, this edge piece, and this edge piece. Okay. What we want to do now is we want to hold the pyramid so that one of the bottom pieces, meaning this piece or this piece, can move up to the top edge piece. Okay. Moving this piece here or this piece here. Let's see. Blue and green. Can that go here? No, it doesn't belong. We need a blue and yellow piece to go here. And here it is, blue and yellow. But, if I move that blue and yellow piece here, okay, when I'm done, it's going to look like this. And as you can see, that's backwards. So that piece actually doesn't work. So, no problem. Take your pyramid, rotate it clockwise again. Take another look. What do we need here? Well, we need a green and a blue piece to go here. That's yellow and green, that's no good. Green and blue... Yeah, that goes there, but once again, when it's in position, it's going to look like that, and that's backwards. I can tell that that's no good. So, what am I going to do? Rotate the pyramid one more time. I think this will be the, the, the winner for us. We need yellow here, green here. That's yellow, blue, that's no good. Ah, but there it is. Green and yellow. That piece belongs here. How am I going to do it? How am I going to get this green and yellow piece here. Well, if you remember, if you want a piece on the right side of your pyramid, you have to start with it on the left side, or vice versa. So, green and yellow belongs here. On the right, I need to move it up to the left side. Now it's in position, if you will, to move from here to here. Same three moves as before. The side that you're taking a piece out, remember we're swapping this piece out, move that side down first down, move the other side down, and now it's in position. We've matched it up. Just bring it up. And there it is. We've taken the piece that was here and moved it here. That is step three, if you will. Okay? And you may also notice that if you look at your cube now, you'll, you'll notice something that you might seem might seem a little strange to you, which is that even though we solved a piece here and put it in the right location, we still have one, two, three pieces left to fix. So you might be thinking, we didn't accomplish anything. We started off with three pieces that needed to be fixed, and we ended with three pieces that needed to be fixed. So what did we really accomplish? Well, we actually accomplished a lot, because even though we still have three pieces left to be solved, as you can see, it's different. All three of those pieces are now on the same side of the pyramid, before they were not. Okay, This piece, this piece, and this piece all need to be solved, and they are all on the blue side of the pyramid. That's a good thing. Here's what it means. It means that as long as we solve just one more edge piece, okay, that sequence of moves will not only solve that one piece, but all three pieces at the same time. In other words, one more sequence of moves will solve the rest of the pyramid. Okay? How are we going to do it? Well, 
Once again, we're going to look to move a piece from the right side over to the left side using those same three moves, down, down, up, okay? Or moving it the other way, from the left side over to the right side. Let's take a look at this. Blue and red. Can I move that blue-red piece here? Well, yes, I can. But I can tell by looking at it that when I move it here, it's going to be backwards. Here's what I mean. Down, down, up. Look at that. That's where it belongs, but as you can see, it's backwards. So I don't want to do that. Let me go ahead and undo that move. Okay. How about this? Blue and green? Can that piece go here? No, that doesn't belong there. We need blue and yellow here. So, that didn't work. Rotate your pyramid clockwise. Let's try it again. Blue and green. Does that belong here? Well, yes, but again, it's backwards. If I put that piece here, it's going to be backwards. Yellow and blue here? No, we need red and blue here. So what do we do? Rotate our pyramid one more time. What does this say? Blue and yellow. Ah, that's the winner. That blue and yellow piece belongs here, and it's oriented correctly, meaning when we move it over from the right to the left, it will be in the right position. So, how are we going to do it? Same three moves as before. Okay, You need to move a piece from one side to the other, down, down, and up. This blue-red piece is coming out, so I move that side down. The blue-yellow is moving over to the other side, move that down. And now I'm going to do what? Move this side up, down, down, up. Okay? Oh, and we always have to restore our interior piece. So I move this side back up, and that's it. We've solved our entire pyramid. Okay? I hope that was helpful for you. And good luck practicing.